All right. Hi, students. My name is Nicole Larson. I am the lead tutor this year for 2021-2022 for the school year, and I'm going to talk a little bit about academic support and resources. This is for, in particular, the spring of 2022. All right, so just a little quote to start with. Learning is a constant process of discovery. Um, I want to make sure that you guys understand that no one knows everything and that using tutoring and academic resources is just a way to learn just a little bit more and to keep on discovering. All right, so a little bit of tutoring misconceptions. So it is thought that tutoring is for only people who are struggling, which is not always the case. Tutoring is for students who maybe just want to do a little bit better on an exam, like they are really shooting for an A, and so they're going to go in and make sure that they understand all of the important concepts, not just shooting for a C. Um, that tutoring is only for homework help. A lot of the times I I'm starting a new class. I'm not exactly sure how to study for that class. So I'd actually go and ask for help of someone who's already taken that class and say, hey, what were some beneficial ways that you studied for this class? What are some note-taking tips? What are some studying strategies? Um, another misconception is that tutoring is too generic to really be helpful. We can um, go through textbooks, we can go through homework problems, all that kind of stuff to really get to specific questions where maybe you're struggling on just one thing like how to use a certain equation or how to code one certain line. Um, and so we can be very specific, but we can also be kind of in general what is one topic um, that maybe you're struggling with and we can do a little bit of work on that topic more generally. Tutoring takes too much time is another misconception. Um, we do have drop-in hours, so that is no appointment needed. You can walk in, you can have whatever questions you need, and once those questions are answered, you can just stay in this space, you can study, you can just kind of hang out and chill for a little bit. And we also have online tutoring appointments, and those are only 30 minutes. And so you're allowed to make two of those a week. And so that's only an hour of tutoring a week. So really, it's not that much time when you think about it. Another tutoring misconception is that tutors are just here to give answers. We are here to help you build better studying habits and finding ways to be able to answer the questions that you have on maybe a homework assignment by kind of giving you key pieces of, you know, key pieces of information, key pieces of knowledge that'll help you finish and be able to complete harder problems instead of just giving you the answers to those harder problems right away. And another tutoring misconception is that tutoring is only for young students. I use tutoring as a senior this year. I've used tutoring as a junior. All classes can be difficult in some areas. And so it's for everyone. And we even tutor seniors and all that kind of stuff. So don't think that if you're older that you don't need help because you definitely could and we are here to help you. How do you get connected to tutoring? So you can go to academic help and support on your My CSS page. And here you're gonna find information about the tutoring center and the writing center. So I'm actually gonna show you how to find that right now. So once you go to your My CSS page, this is the very first thing you're gonna see. You're gonna go here to the quick search and you're gonna go, you're gonna type in academic help and support, and you're gonna find this about page. You're gonna click that, and it's gonna pull up the tutoring center and the writing center. And I am, like I said, the lead tutor for the tutoring center. And so here you're gonna find different things. You're gonna find the drop-in tutoring schedule. You're gonna find different uh, links for academic coaching. So people who can really help you as academic coach, these aren't our tutors. These are um, members of our faculty and staff. We have appointment-based appointment tutoring sessions, and so this is our set more, those 30-minute schedules, I was, those 30-minute appointments I was talking about. These are different digital tools, which you, if you are interested in learning about those, we actually do have a technology tutor. And then these are just like your supplemental instruction and collaborative learning groups, so SI and CLG, and those are just different schedules there. So this is a really great tool to figure out, you know, when is a tutor for my class available? Um, if I want to meet with someone on Zoom, then when are they available as well? Because those schedules are different. So you can see this drop-in tutoring schedule is from one o'clock to six o'clock every day. But if you go on set more, 
which is a cssstutoring.setmore.com. And let's say I want help in anatomy and physiology one. I am the tutor for this class. And so if you go on Monday, I actually have availability of at 10 a.m., 11 a.m., 3 p.m., and 4 p.m., which some of those times are outside of regular uh, walk-in tutoring hours or those drop-in tutoring hours. So this is a great uh, resource for you as well if you can't come in from one to six. All right, so like I said, drop-in tutoring, that's in Tower 2129, and you can even use it as a set of study space. Again, you can check out my CSS for academic coaching. Those appointment-based tutoring sessions are in Setmore, and that's at cssstutoring.setmore.com. And this is also where you can find those SI and CLG groups. Additional ways to find academic success other than tutoring is making sure you're going to class. Are you going to class and are you prepared to learn? Do you have a way to take notes? Are you paying attention? Are you sitting towards the front? Are you kind of laughing with people in the back? Are you studying every day? Are you reviewing your notes and your materials? What does this look like? Making sure that you're getting your notes written down in your own words is super, super important instead of just writing down whatever your professor says. And then are you reviewing and testing what you know? Are you making sure you're completing your assignments? Do you understand your assignments? And if you don't, or if you're having trouble kind of reviewing and even testing what you know, this is where the tutoring center can come in handy. We can ask you questions about different units, different problems, that kind of thing, to see just about maybe how much you do know and what you have comprehended. And then we can help you figure out what you don't know so that you can keep learning. All right, if you have any questions about tutoring, feel free to contact um, tutoring at css.edu.